when it comes to CICD tools, Jenkins is one of the most popular tools available in the market. Jenkins can be run on Docker and running Jenkins on Docker is a cakewalk. All you have to do is uh, run the Docker uh, run command and then you're good to go. Once the application is up, you can then create jobs, pipelines to build tests, deploy your application and do all kinds of activities. Building Docker image um, of an application from Jenkins running a, um, as a Docker container is a little tricky. Hi, my name is Pratap and in today's video, we will see how to build an image of an application with Jenkins running in a Docker container. I'm running Docker on Windows and uh, uh, this is Windows 10. I'm running Docker desktop on Windows. Let us spin up a Jenkins instance as a Docker container. And for that, the command is a Docker normal uh, Docker run command. Here I have named the container as Jenkins LTS. And I'm running this on port uh, at port 8080. This is the volume that uh, I have mounted. This is the volume uh, on my local system and I have mounted that to the container and let's hit enter. And the container is started. Let's give it a minute or two until um, the instance is up and running. Then we'll go ahead and log in to Jenkins. I have already created a Jenkins account and I have already stored it on my local. Uh, we will go ahead and log in with the credentials that I have already created. Okay. Now I Let's try to access Jenkins um, on my local at port 8080. So I have to type in localhost 8080. I provided my user ID and password. Uh, clicking on sign in. Okay, I have already created a simple uh, Jenkins job. Uh, let's see the details of the job. If I click on configure, it will take me to the configuration page where we, uh, we will see what I have written. Okay, this is the simple job uh, I've done given a small um, description. And if I go down to the button, I'm only running a uh, single command. This is the goal. Uh, I'm trying to build a simple Spring Boot application. Uh, Spring Spring Boot 2.3 uh, 2 Plus has this uh, ability that you can you do not have to uh, explicitly write a Docker file. You can simply type in this command Spring Boot build image, and that's that is um, sufficient to build a Docker image. That's what I I have done. Let us save it and build the image. If I click on build now. Yes, the build. Let's click on the build history, and if I click on console output, that will show us the output. Let me zoom in a bit so that you can see it easily. Okay, I think this should suffice. The building process has started, and it has compiled, tested. And now Jenkins is building the image. And as you can see, build failed with error failed to execute goal. And this is trying to connect to Docker daemon that is running on my host machine. So this is the error you can see uh, I'm getting. In the next step, we'll see how to mitigate uh, this error. And we'll see um, how to fix it. When using Docker desktop, a VM uh, running the Docker daemon is installed. 
commands such as docker uh, run docker ps etc are passed from the cli to the uh, docker uh, daemon running in the vm so in this figure you can see that this is the docker daemon and uh, inside this docker there are multiple containers running and we have a cli from cli we can um, pass commands such as docker run docker ps etc to the daemon and daemon uh, can uh, process those commands and respond accordingly if i go to the command prompt and uh, run uh, the uh, docker version command let me clear out the screen first and then let me run the command Docker version command um, shows that we have uh, the, the Docker engine that is comprised comprises of uh, uh, client and server. Okay, server is nothing but the daemon and client is nothing but the CLI. There is a clear distinction between the client and the server. Okay, um, so if we go back to the slide, the, the, that is the same thing happening here. We are sending commands from docker cli to docker daemon and docker daemon is responding accordingly so in our case we will have to devise a way in such that uh, the container in which jenkins is running should be able to communicate with the uh, docker daemon that is running on the host machine okay so we have a couple of tasks to do to achieve that uh, communication right so first thing is we will have to install uh, the docker eli, uh, eli in the jenkins container second thing is we will have to communicate with the docker daemon running on the host machine the final part will be to establish a way and also grant appropriate permission to the container so that it can talk to the daemon so for that, we will have to follow a couple of steps. First thing, uh, we will have to create a Docker file as, as uh, depicted here. Um, this says that we will build the, the another image, uh, another custom image from uh, Jenkins LTS. And we will use uh, root user and we will use this command to install Docker CLI with user Jenkins. The second step will be, uh, we will have to run the uh, Docker build command to build uh, this Docker file. I mean, that will build the image. Finally, we will have to, once, once the image is ready, we will have to run uh, the image, meaning we will have to spin up the container by running uh, Docker run command with following options. We will have to provide um, var run docker shock, um, meaning we will have to bind the volume. So let's talk about uh, docker shock file. It's a Unix file. Uh, docker daemon actually uh, listens to this file and responds to all the commands that are uh, sent through CLI. This is the way uh, through which our uh, Jenkins container will communicate with the uh, docker daemon that is running on our um, host okay i have already built um, uh, I, I mean i have already prepared this uh, docker file let's go ahead and run the uh, build command and see how it goes moving on to the command prompt Uh, this is where I have uh, the docker file present and let me run the command here. Okay, uh, the image is built. Let's see if the image is present uh, in, the, in our docker.
okay so this is jenkins in docker uh, was the uh, image name we provided and the image is already uh, present here next thing is let's go ahead and uh, run this uh, image and see what happens so this is the command let me copy this command from here I'm going to spin up the container and uh, as you can see I am mounting docker shock uh, using volume command and this is the uh, volume where I have all the um, docker related Jenkins related information that is residing on my local machine okay if I go ahead and run it okay uh, let us give it a different name looks like there is some other container running with this name one thing to notice here is dash dash group part zero option in the command that is used to add the user with which the image was created to the root group of the container that is done in order to get access to the docker daemon that is running on the host system and that contains docker dot shock file and that is not uh, usually that is not accessible to all the users only root users can access that file so we are adding group part zero so that the user with which the docker uh, image of jenkins was created that can communicate with the daemon the container is uh, running let's give it a minute or two to then we will go ahead and uh, run our build job the container is uh, running on um, localhost 8080 let me try go ahead and access that uh, url right uh, the docker container is now up let me log in with my credential So I provided my credentials and I'm logging into uh, the container. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and uh, run this job and see what happens. Let's go to the uh, console output of this job and see. Jenkins is building the image. Bingo. There you go. There you go. The build is successful and Docker image is created. This is the image that is created just now. To prove my point, let's go to the command prompt and see if the image is really created. Let me exit from here. And if I clear the screen, type in the command docker images. Yes, here is the image that was created just now. Congratulations, you are ready to rock and roll with this image you can push this image to docker hub and uh, do all kind of activities that you want to do thank you for watching this video and please hit the like button if you like the uh, video and also if you have any comments please do not hesitate to um, comment on my video. Thank you so much.